Well, I've been dealing with Amazon for some time now. I, I don't even know how long I've been dealing with this due to my health and all the other issues that I'm facing. But somebody got into my account somehow and caused issues. And now I can no longer review my products. But yet, they keep giving me the same runaround, the same excuses, the same reasons why they won't activate me back. I have Amazon Prime. I write books and do my books through Amazon. I do so many things through Amazon that I don't know if I want to be with a company who doesn't appreciate me or the things that I do for the company bring in revenue. I'm just, I'm tired of playing the runaround and getting pushed to the side like I'm garbage. This is, this is painful. I appreciate everyone and everything. I believe in the good of everybody. But if you're going to hurt people, why do you keep trying to make things happen for people? I'm hearing people, I mean other authors, getting their accounts canceled and blocked for no reason. No reason at all. Amazon is taking their garbage to the wrong level with everything they're hurting people just because they can we may be little people we may be thinking about all of these other issues that are going on but amazon is not taking anything seriously and hurting people other authors they work at trying to earn an income for their families. And they do it at an astronomical rate that Amazon charges to do the books. Just this month, I've got seven cents from my books. That's it. From my book sales, ebook sales, paperback book sales, I got seven cents. Last month, I got three dollars and something. That's not how it's supposed to work. I appreciate Amazon for who they are, but they need to start looking at us as people. Not as merchandise that you just throw away. It's, it's just hard to even think about. When I first got with Amazon, Amazon Prime, put my books up there, did all the things that I do through Amazon... They were a good company, so I don't know what happened to them. I'm not saying they're not good, but whoever's running it now, or how they're running it now, they're running it into the ground. And they're hurting people by their actions. I don't know if this will be deleted. I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong because everything's changing. I'm just, I'm tired of struggling with everything that's good to keep good in this world. 
only for them and other companies to give the worst parts of everything. I mean, we go to the grocery stores. Inflation is bad. And they're talking about raising stuff again. Are they not looking at how people are already struggling with buying food for their families, buying food for themselves, taking care of their bills? N nobody that has money. Well, I can't say nobody because, yes, there are good souls. There are kind people. I'm struggling after my hospital bills. I'm struggling to get by on a lot of things. But because of my children, my husband, and God... I've got to put God first because he's the one that makes everything happen. Without him, nothing would happen. Without him, life would be at a standstill. I know things are extremely hard and people want to Blame somebody so they always blame God when something's going wrong. I'm not going to blame God because I know for a fact it's not God. It's what I believe. I believe that Amazon and the people that work at Amazon are good. I have talked to many people that are good, that have great souls, have the best intent for the person that they're dealing with, for the company. Kroger, Meyer, Sam's Club, Walmart, and many other stores. Yes, they're good to a point, and they... Um, the best way to put it is they take advantage of the small people. The people that have no way to do otherwise. So they have to go. They have to buy the foods. They have to do things that are needed. They have to go work at the company to make sure that they have food so they make sure that they can take care of their kids they have gas money they have bill money i believe all of these companies yes they gave people a raise but not enough with inflation and the way people are constantly working but not getting paid enough. And then inflation going up even more. And still bills going up more and more and more. People are becoming homeless. People are dealing with so much right now. So I plead to these companies. To give everybody a bigger raise. Enough that's going to take care of them and their families and make sure they have a roof over their head. Don't make us little people suffer. Because in, uh, in every aspect, you're not exactly making the little people suffer because you're suffering too. If you lose good workers... You get in workers that, yeah, they want the pay, but they're not going to work as hard or give you as good feedback. Appreciate those 
that work for you. Do not hurt people for your own amusement, I guess is the way to put it. I know by what I'm reading, waitresses and them, they don't earn that much. And if you go in and you eat, no matter how nasty you're being, no matter how nasty they're being, you've got to give them something, some type of tip. It may not be big, but give them a little something. Say you walk in and you order your food and it comes to $20. But your waitress, etc. is being not so nice. Give them a dollar. That's more than what they have. They don't make hardly anything. They work on tips. That's their main income is the tips. I was reading an article about some people that went into a restaurant. I can't remember where it was. Their order was over a hundred dollars. The waitress was kind. The waitress did everything that was needed and they didn't leave her a tip. One tip. If it's over a hundred dollars and your waitress is doing as she should, keeping a smile on her face, giving good feedback, you should at least left her a $20 tip. And if you couldn't afford a $20 tip, then give her 10 or 15. They work on tips. And most people these days, that's kind of how I feel. They work on tips. They work on the little that they don't have to support those in need. Let me ask, when you go out and you see someone who's asking for food or asking for something at the side of the road and you don't want to give it because you think they are into drugs or something else you can't stop or help them in any way by keeping things from them so what you do at that point make sure you have food in your van or your car when you go out, you see somebody standing on the road who you think they're not worthy of the money or anything like that. You make sure to take a bag of chips out or whatever. Just give them something to eat, something to drink. Because even those people that are on drugs or strung out as a lot of people call it they deserve a lot more than what we give them credit for we and I'm not saying anything against anybody because I did it in the past we go against people we judge them right away without knowing their problems without knowing the situation without knowing them take some time out and be more appreciative of everything and everyone not everyone I believe should have it such as people that hurt other people but as long as you appreciate them for whoever they are 
you're going to feel a lot better. We're not talking about them feeling better. We're talking about you feeling better. 